Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightsailVR.com. Fireflies are rendering artifacts resulting from numerical instabilities in solving the rendering equation. Blah, blah, blah. You can research it and do all that on your own time. Uh, the practical thing is fireflies are artifacts that look like this, like these, these dead pixels, these white uh, pixels that you can see. These are called fireflies. And there are a bunch of different ways that you can get rid of them. Some of them you probably already know, some of them you may not know. So I'm just going to give you some of the things I've been learning about ways that you can deal with getting rid of fireflies. And it's really important to note that there's not one solution that fixes all fireflies. It's usually a combination of things. So depending on your scene, the materials, how it's lit, your particular project, if it's interior, exterior, some methods will work better than others. And it's almost always a combination of all these techniques. Keep that in mind as you watch this tutorial. So one is you can change your material. Um, so for instance, if you have a specular material, if, if you have no specularity in your material, there will be no fireflies because there's nothing for it to reflect. Obviously, you don't want to just put all your materials down to zero, but it's worth noting. Roughness also has a key factor. The rougher a material is, the less reflection it'll have and the less fireflies it'll have. Denoising can help. This is the image without denoising. This is the image with denoising. In the compositing tab, there's a node called despeckle. If you use despeckle, you can get rid of a lot of artifacts automatically. Despeckle is a great option if you can't do denoising. Make sure you have the imager and override turned on and under the very top there's exposure then there's hot pixel removal so the lower you bring this value the more fireflies it will kill so this is with one this is being no hot pixel removals this is being all hot pixel removals you can also change your lighting to affect it so if we use something more diffuse like the cloudy hills hdri you can see we have a lot less fireflies. If you have caustics, caustic blur can help a lot, but be careful with it. GI clamp can help a lot. So if you bring this down to a thousand, this can help depending on your scene. It'll help a lot more. You want GI clamp to be as high as possible, but depending on your scene, you might just start at zero and then start working your way up until you get a, a good result or you might start at the default and work your way down. Increasing the sample count will usually help. And my last tip is to change the kernel type. So I don't often use direct light, but depending on your scene, you might give it a shot. There are probably a hundred other ways you could reduce fireflies. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions, but these are the ones that I have found the most useful for me. All right, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.